Niger YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I really appreciate you guys a whole lot for subscribing to my YouTube channel. So guys, if you are new, if this is the first time of you coming across Stylish Niger YouTube channel, I would appreciate if you would hit on the subscribe button and then also hit on the notification bell on the side to get an update. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to actually cut and sew a jumpsuit. Yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. This um, video has... It is long overdue. So I've been getting lots and lots and lots of requests from my subscribers to actually do this video. So today we're going to be, I'm going to be making it so simple for you that if you don't know how to sew a jumpsuit, I assure you that after this video, you will be able to do it. And the fabric that I'm using, I'm going to be making use of three yards of fabric. This is a normal cutting fabric. You can actually make use of any fabric of your choice. You can make use of Ankara, but if you are going to be making use of Ankara, I would um, advise for you to use about four yards because this um, cutting fabric, you know, the lengths are usually very long, so it's by 60. So I'm using three yards, it's going to be okay. And again, I want to say if you want to register for my online classes, we're going to be starting this week. So you see my number scrolling through the screen, you can send me a message on WhatsApp and then I'll send you the details. We have a new class, the advanced class. And then we also have the ready to wear class for so those people that want to go into ready to wear business, how to size your dresses, how to create your size chart. And then for those of you that don't know how to sew a, a perfect covered corset, I have a corset class also. And then the intermediate class, I have it. And then the beginners, that's the foundation for people that are just starting to sew. Just send me a message on WhatsApp. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to fold my fabric and then we're going to start okay so you see uh i folded the fabric so i fold i'm folding the back and the front so i'm using my bust circumference to fold so i folded at 14 inches you divide your bust circumference into four and then add about three to four inches allowance so for this i'm actually not going to be cutting it a bust i'm going to be doing the regular waist that i just wanted to start the tutorial from scratch i would have used my basic bodies pattern to cut this out so let's just get started. So the first line I have here, this line is, is serving as my start line, that shoulder line. And then from the shoulder line, I have my bust line, which is 10 inches. And then the under bust line is 13. And then the half cut is 17. And then I added about 2 inches allowance. The first thing you are going to do, I'm using doing the regular waist that I'm not doing any um, pattern. Just the regular waist that. So you divide your shoulder measurement into 4. And then you I'm sorry into two. Mine is 14, so you divide into two, which is seven, and then I'm going to add one inch allowance to it. So from this point now, I'm going to mark out my armhole measurement. So I'll use about eight inches. You can use okay, let me use um seven inches because this dress is going to be like almost like a sleeveless. So I use seven inches and then I'll mark like this. The next thing I'll impute my bust circumference divided into four. My bust is 36, which when you divide into four, you have nine inches. I'm going to add 1.5 inch allowance or two inches allowance. So from this point like this, I'll just mark like this. And then the under bust, I'm not going to, I'll just leave the under bust because it's not going to be really tight on the chest. So I'll measure my waist line uh, measurement. That's my half cut, which is my waist. So I'll mark, I'll divide it into four, you mark it, and then you add your allowance to it. So from this point, I'm just going to do this. So when you are adding your allowance, make sure that the inches of that that you are going to remove is added. So I'm going to be removing about one inch for my dart. So the remaining half inch is what I'll use to join my dress. You can decide to increase it. So it depends on what you want. From this point, I'm going to come for the neckline. So it is a high neckline that I'm going to be doing. So on this part, I'm just going to measure about three inches width. And then I'll come down. I'll come down by four inches. That's three by four. Just mark it like this, just to get your neckline. So if you want the back and the neckline to be the same, you cut. But mine, I want the back neckline to be higher. 
So the back neckline, I'm going to be using two inches. That's the depth. I use two inches to drop the back neckline. So you just curve it. Follow the same line like this. So let's cut out the back neckline first. We'll cut it out like this. We're still going to do our shoulder slope. I want you to note. And then the front like this. So from this point now, you're going to slope down the shoulder. From this point, you're just going to come here by one inch. And then I'll just slope it into the neckline like this. And then you cut out. And then the next thing we're going to do now, we'll cut out the side. So most times when I'm cutting, I really don't like cutting directly on my allowance. I'll still add just about half of an inch. So for the, for the armhole, I'm going to cut about half of an inch. So you can measure that. That is for the back and then for the front, I'm just going to take it in to the original measurement that I measured for my armhole. That's the original armhole curve. And then what I'm going to do, I'll place them back on top of each other and then I'll impute my dart. So for the dart, just use your regular bust fan measurement. So for this, I'm going to be using four inches. I'll put a notch on it. We're just going to stitch it so you see how simple it is the next thing we're going to do now we're going to cut out our pants that's the down part of our of our jumpsuit so i'll fold the fabric and then show you how to go about the fold okay so we're going to start cutting the the trouser part of our jumpsuit so i have some basic lines here i'm going to explain to you the first line that i have here this line is going to serve as my start line and then from this line, which is the start line, I'm using 8 inches for my hip line. This is 8 inches. You can use 9 inches. Depends on how tall the person is. And then the next line that I have here is 12 inches for the crowd, which is the crouch line. So why it is 12 inches? It is because it is a jumpsuit. So it's really not fitted around the crotch area. It is a loose jumpsuit. So that is why I am using 12 inches. In case you don't know how to measure your crouch all you have to do is you sit on a flat surface and then take your tape so you see this deep part of your waist like this you just place your tape like this and then you measure to the floor of the chair that you are sitting on so that's how you actually measure your crouch that's just like a simple way you divide your your hip uh, measurement you can divide it into into four And then add about two inches to it. So it depends on which one we want to use. And then the next line that I have here is my knee line. So I'm using 21. And then the full length. You know my jumpsuit, the full length is actually 60 inches. So I'm using the top part of my body is 17 inches. So when you subtract 17 from 60, you have about 43 inches. So this is what I have. So, and then you add your allowance. So, this is my 43 inches. So, I'm adding about 3 or 4 inches allowance that I'm going to use to fold to it. So, now let's just start measuring. The first measurement that we're going to measure, I'm going to come to this part. This is the waist part. I'll take 1 inch inwards. And then I'm going to come to my knee line here. I'll mark... I'll mark about one inch or two inches inwards also on this point. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to take this point like this. I'll connect it to my hip line. This is my hip line. I'll connect it like this to my hip line. And then I'll curve it to my waist part like this. So I'll just pull so you can see. And then I'll curve it to my hip like this. So the next uh, measurement I'm going to do now, come to okay, I'll pull. I have to pull my fabric so you see. So I'll come to the down part, which is the leg. I'm just going to come in. Depends on how wide you actually want your 
palazzo to be so i'll come in by two inches or 2.5 inches let me do two inches i'll come in by two inches and then from this point like this i'm just going to do this depends on the shape that you're coming on to do your pants so i'll come in like this so we're done with the side shape the next thing we're going to do now we're going to come to this side so on our waist oh, let's do the hip first on our hip line you are going to impute your hip measurement you divide it, your hip into four so mine is 40 which is 10 inches and then i'm going to add stitching allowance to it i'll use two inches you could do 1.5 but I'll do two inches, it's okay. This is my two inches, and then on my crouch line, that's where I'm going to put my lap measurement. You measure your lap round and then you divide into two. So for the lap measurement, I'm going to use 12 inches. Which is 24 when you measure around, and then I'll impute the two inches also for my allowance on this part. So from this part, I'm just going to curve it like this. It is really simple. Just curve it like this to get your crouch curve. You could use your you could use your curve. And then from this point, we're going to come back to the top. This is the waist measurement. And then you are going to impute your waist measurement. You divide your waist measurement. Also divide it into four. So I used eight inches. And then I'm going to add. 1.5 you could do two inches allowance so i'll do 1.5 inches so from this point like this i'm just going to curve okay you could do two inches really so i'll curve it like this now this part so the next thing we're going to do now from this part like this we're going to mark our mark to the down part so it depends on how wide you want the down of your palazzo to be so for this, I'm going to take my tape like this. I want my palazzo to be at least 12 inches. So I'm just going to place my tape like this. This is 12 inches. I'm going to add one inch to it for stitching, just for stitching allowance. I don't really don't want it to be too tight. And then from this point, I'm going to come to the knee, to the knee point also. I will repeat. The same measurement and then I would mark but if you want the knee part to be slim you can actually reduce it and then I'll connect it to my crotch line like this So you see it is really simple like I said. So let's cut out now and then we'll cut out the back. So because it is a jumpsuit, I'm not going to be sloping the waist line. I'm just going to do it like that. And then this part, you cut out this part like this. And then we'll cut it down. The next thing, you are going to, if you want to impute your dart in this and jump to here's what you are going to do. You can fold it and if you are imputing that, make sure you put that into consideration while marking the, the waistline and then you add the extra. So I'll just notch it at the center like that and then we'll use this one to cut out the back. Okay, so for the back, here's what I did. So this is the front piece. I just placed it on, it, on this part. It's really simple and easy. Here's what we are going to do on this waistline part. We're just going to add about one inch. You could do half of an inch. So from this on one inch, you are just going to connect it like this. Let it flow into the side. So now you are going to de determine where you are going to add your zipper 
because you need a zipper on the jumpsuit since you are, is the fabric is not stretchy if you are going to be adding the zipper to the back you are going to put that into consideration where why measuring this crouch part that's this part so i'm going to show you how to do that so on this part we're going to maintain the same inch like this so we're going to cut it straight on this side we're going to come out by half of an inch you can do one inch i'm going to come out by half of an inch we're just going to follow it like this and then on the crouch line we're going to add two inches oh out of these two inches i'm going to make it about 2.5 inches okay no i'm going to add two inches two inches is okay so and um, because i'm going to use about one inch from inside to take out my dart so i'm going to mark this point like this so this part i'll add normally you, you you could um actually add about one inch on this side so on this point like this now i'm just going to mark 1.5 what i'm doing that is i'm going to use this part as my zipper part so i will mark it like this and then slant it into my half inch that is coming from that part and then i'll maintain i'll just maintain it the same way like this and then bring it to this part like this and then on this top part i'll add half of an inch on top so you could do one inch normally regular trousers you can do two inches normally so for this i'm going to do one inch it's still negligible you can still decide to leave it that way so from this point like this i'm just going to slant it into the waist line of the front like this so you see how it is i hope you understand so we're going to start cutting now so i'll pull so you can see it properly So this side, you cut them the same. So when you get to this part, you you open it up and then get out the one inch of the waist. And then on this part, okay, let's start from this side. Half of an inch. You could do one inch. And then when you get to the crotch part, you open it up because of the zipper. And then on this side, we slant it from our one inch, just slant it into our waistline of the front. And then you add your dart. So you see, it is really simple. So we're done with our cutting the next thing we're going to do now is stitching which is this is just like the difficult part of it so for this and uh, jumpsuit you can decide to add pocket to it if you want to add pocket you can decide to add pocket but for this i don't think i'll add pocket i'm just going to leave it this way so maybe in my upcoming tutorial i'll show you how to add actually add pocket to a trouser or a palazzo or a jumpsuit so it depends on or a, yeah just you can just drop your your what you want just drop it anything about pants drop it on the comment section so let me know so i will know what to create okay so we are going to go and start stitching so the first thing we are going to join you cut out your lining if you want to line it and then we are going to join our dress you join them on the shoulder line so this open up the back for the back zipper so i'll go and join my top bodies you jo just join them together and then turn out the neckline and then for the pants that's for our jumpsuit that's sorry the trouser part here's what i'm going to do i'll take this is the front piece this is just like the simple way of showing this what we are going i'm going to go and do now i'll go and stitch on the crouch line like this i'll join it from this point like this and then i will join this the back piece also on this line and then come back and show you how it is going to look like before we continue okay so i've finished teaching all of my pieces so i'm going to do just explain to you so this is the front piece 
so i've turned the front the neckline with my facing and then this is the back piece so i'm going to show you how to join them together it is really simple and easy this is the front piece of our that's the down part of our jumpsuit so i've added the dart on it very simple and easy you're just going to take take it like this and then you take this point the dart on the dart so because you want you actually want it to align properly you're just going to take the dart like this and then you will stitch just stitch with the allowance and stitch along this so that's for the front and then for the back piece you can actually do this in two ways so I've actually I already stitch along this the crouch line you can do this in two ways you can decide to not to stitch it on the crouch line first and then you take those parts like this and then you join this part on this side and then join this other one on this side and then you join them together like this or because i've stitched this what i'm just going to do i'm going, just going to open up this point like this just about one inch and then i'll join this part to this point and then i'll join this to this part so i'm going to do that and then i'll bring it back and show you how we join the back and the front together okay so i finished joining the, the parts together so this is the back so i've joined it so i'm going to add a zipper here so like i said if you are using so you see the way i joined it is you just add your zipper you can add it first before you continue and then the front also have joined them so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to stitch the side so i'm going to use one inch depends on your allowance if it is too big you just may take the full body measurement so i'm going to use one inch i'll stitch the side of my of my jumpsuit i'll stitch the side first after stitching the side i'll stitch it to the hem line of the the legs and then i would now stitch that's i'll stitch the both side and then i'll now hold my crouch so you see my crouch is the same i'll now hold my crouch and then i'll stitch it to the down part so i'm going to do that now and then come back and show you what we have and then i'll cut out the sleeve for you to see i finished joining my dress my jumpsuit so you see the back let me just show you the back so it's looking so beautiful i really like the outcome so you see the back so it's just for me to fix the zipper here so for the zipper you can decide to stop it you can just decide to stop it just a little bit um, before the, the main part of your your crouch that's the back crouch so you can just stop it here so you'll be able to fit the dress into yourself properly so this is the front so the next thing that we're going to do now is just the sleeve so you could see what I have. You could do, actually do any sleeve of your choice for this um, jumpsuit. But I'm just going to go with the sleeve that is on the picture. And the sleeve that is on the picture is a very simple, um, fancy sleeve, if I would say. So what I have, I have two pieces of um, fabric here. I'm just going to show you what I did. So I measured them. The, the inches, I have about 15 inches. And then it is on fold. So you see it is folded. This is about 3.5 inches. This is 3.5 inches on foot. So when you open it up, that means it is 7 inches. The next thing, what you are going to do for this kind of sleeve, this part of the sleeve now, what we are going to do, we are actually going to stop it at um, 14 inches because I want to slant it. I want to create like create out, like a slant here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come to this edge. I'm not really using any measurement. I'll just come to the tip. This is the folded and I'll just come to the tip of this point like this and just slant it into this point like this. So I'm slanting. So this is about one inch and then I'm going to cut it out. So I'm going to cut it out like this. I'm just doing this so I'll have that sharp edge. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it over to my machine and then I'm going to stitch it around. That's I'm going to stitch it, cover up everywhere. And I'm just going to create like a little opening. You can create your opening anywhere just for you to be able to turn it 
and then iron it out so that's what i'm going to do and then i'm going to show you after doing that i'll show you how to fix it before i go and fix in fixing it so you see now how the sleeve is looking on this part like this so it's going to be like this so you can you can decide to to do it however depends on however or wherever you actually want to to fix it so for this you know this part is, will be stitched so i'm going to be stitching the sleeve i'm going to be stitching it on top of this place it's going to be a straight and stitch so what you are going to do in stitching it in stitching it doing the top stitch you are going to just measure it does not really have any measurement you are going to measure where you want your sleeve to be so you know this is our shoulder and um, measurement this is our shoulder so you are just going to come like this and then you can decide to okay you know my shoulder is seven inches which is 14 you can decide to do you can decide to place the show the place the sleeve let me just use about five inches so this is five inches so five inches is okay so i'm going to open it up like this this is my five inches line on this other side also i'm going to measure it and then check so this is five inches also and then the next thing i'm going to do now this is five inches on this side five inches on this side. make sure that they are corresponding and then you are going to measure how wide how long sorry so i'm going to measure the length of what i have here now so i have about at the end of the day i have about 14 inches so from this point you are going to determine where do you actually want to start fixing the sleeve from so I have about 14 inches here. So if I'm starting from this point, this is going to be 7 inches. So my sleeve is going to start from this point, this 7 inches point here. And it's going to run to 7 inches from this point also. So I'm just, I'm just trying to mark it. And then the same thing with this part also. This is 7 inches. So this is almost like on my chest line. So that's where I'm going to start stitching my sleeve. So you rule it, make sure you put your line so you know what you are doing. Like this. And then running to the other side also. I'm just going to still take it like this. So here is how we are going to fix the sleeve. Now you are going to take the sleeve, like I said, we are going to be doing a top stitch. So I'll open up this part. And then I'm going to stitch my sleeve like this on this point i'm going to start stitching from this line like this i'm just going to take this like this i'm going to stitch this part now you know i've already turned it i'm going to stitch do a top stitch just a clean top stitch like this on top with a matching thread and then you see it's going to get to this point to this other part where i marked where my seven inches is so i'm going to stitch it so I'll just go ahead and go and do that and then come back and show you. If you are using a scoop and you don't want to, to fold it, you can just do it with a single stretch of fabric without stitching, that's without sewing and turning. So at the end of the day, this part is just going to sit here. So you see it's looking like what is on the picture. So for this part, you can do it however. So I'll just do it. So you see at the end of the day, so you see how our jumpsuit looks like. So you see our crouch, it is looking so um, beautiful. So you see the sleeve. So like I just said, you are just going to, after to sewing and turn, you are just going to place it on top on the line that you marked and just put it a top stitch. So you can decide, depends on how wide you want it, you can decide to still come out further, you can decide to take it in. So it depends on you. So I'm just going to adjust the camera now so you see the down part of the jumpsuit so thank you so much if you find this video illustration helpful i would appreciate if you hit on the like button to make me know you appreciate what i did and if you have not subscribed please subscribe thank you so much and god bless you